WGPR Detroit HD2. You're watching WHPS, Highland Park, Detroit. The views and opinions expressed on the following show are not necessarily the views and opinions of WHPS, its affiliates, management, or sponsors. advertise get recognized make a stand with your brand baby let the world know who you are where you want to be where you want to go come tap in with jazzy no nonsense the poet baby yay and it's the holidays we we, we were having great weather for the holidays you know what i'm saying i know we had a little snow after christmas you know what i'm saying but Really, it's been kind of nice. It's been kind of nice. It's kind of weird. It's kind of nice. You know what I'm saying? And we're just here kicking it today. Just happy to be here. The new year is upon us. Everybody know Jazzy and Jim and I are having a sweet New Year's Eve party. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. At 12121 Grash It, baby. We starting at 9 o'clock. One Grash It. Yes, we got live performances in the house. We got comedians in the house. We got R&B singers in the house. Live yep, DJs. Yep, yep. Yes, we do. We want everybody to tap in and come on down with us if you want a ticket call me at 248-2094 the new year celebration we got pistachio the comedian and y'all saw him on my show a couple of weeks ago the man is like super funny we have <laughs> added uh milani milani grisham Melanie Grisham. Grisham. Yeah, Melanie Grisham to the show. She's going to be fired. We got Gemini on the show. We have Natural Got Bars, who's going to give you um, some great singing that night. And he rapped. You know, the, the dude is just talented. You know what I'm saying? We just hope everybody is safe out there. But today, I want everybody to tap in and call in. What's the number, Gemini? It's 365-7327. Because y'all going to want to call in. Because today is um, Tablet Wednesdays, we're doing Tablet Wednesdays. We're going to just do current yeah, events about what the community Call needs in. to hear about. We want y'all to just jump in and we want to hear your opinion about how we can uh, find uh, other resolutions to things. You know what I'm saying? So let's just tap right in and we're going to say, What's up to Gemini, the co host? What's what up? up, though? What up, though? You already know the real is in the building. You hear me? <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. So, everybody, we're going to talk about um, the governor, Big Gretch, today. What's she do? She, uh, Hold up, let me get my tablet right. Oh, get the man. tablet right. I, why are you doing? I want to ask a question. I know you probably gonna go to the same. So I want to ask people, man. Like, if you don't want to get vaccinated, I understand. But then you want to wear a mask either. That don't make no sense. So you rather go in the house for three more months than just put this on your face. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Right, people make a choice. You know, right. vaccine, mask, gotta do something. Gotta do to help something. us out here, you know what I'm saying? Gotta you got to do man. something, care around your life. Do something. I don't, do something. I don't like this do thing something. easy, but I'd rather wear this than be locked up. I know. Locked up? What you mean, locked up? In the house. Oh, right, right, right. In the house. Quarantine, right. All no, nobody wants to be quarantined in no 14-day scene. You know? Super long at home, alone, by yourself. So mask up, people, mask up. But we can get over this pandemic right. and get back to uh, normal life. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. You know, help us all out over here. But so the Michigan lawmakers vote to allow bus drivers. Y'all hear me? Bus drivers. Bus drivers. Lunch aides to serve as substitutes. What? Y'all hear that? Yeah, how a bus driver going to teach me something or my son something? And I know a bus driver, only thing you have to... Uh, well, I'm not, not saying they know, dumb not, or nothing, not but I'm just saying, saying like... saying nothing about the bus driver, but as far as education level, as yeah. a bus driver, I think you just probably need to have a driver's license and a high school diploma. Mm. Right, so I want to know how everybody feel about that, that uh, big Gretch. She just put in the law until after January and the kids go back. Your kids might be go, be being. But that's a substitute, though. As a substitute, because okay, it's such a uh, shortage of teachers right now. You know, your kid might be taught by the bus driver. <laughs> okay. 
I, I don't, don't know. I don't right, know. Man. You know, that's a that's, bus driver uh, teaching your kids. That's K through twelve. Calculus. That's right. <laughs> that's K through twelve. Not saying they don't know it. You know what I'm saying? You can't say they don't know just because they chose to drive a bus, but. Right, I'm we, just saying. We're not huh? saying that, but we know that you got to be uh, certified, certified as a teacher. You have to be to went to college. Yeah, you know, two or three years to yeah. become a teacher. My, my sister had to do that. Yeah, you know, yeah. my my daughter doing that right now. So I want anybody to tap in and tell me their That's opinion. Crazy. Who got kids in our crazy. system right now? You know, what you think about that? You know, what you because I think that um, I think they could have went another route. They could have got. What about the teachers almost in school, almost out of school? Say the, that again. The ones that's going to school for teaching. Right. And you know, they're almost out. They so, could be on you know, the job training. So, you have, like, you know, come to the community and say, we need, we, we got a shortage of teachers. You know, we got a shortage of teachers community. And can anybody volunteer with a profession? A profession. Uh, you know, accounting. Uh, you know, people with. Uh, degrees. Degrees. Yeah. With degrees, why we couldn't do that? You know what? You said what lunch aids too. What though? kind of options did we have besides? So who gonna be driving the bus? Yeah, who gonna fix me lunch? <laughs> and the lunch aides gonna get to <laughs> be able to sub too. The lunch aides right here wow. says in the story on uh, Tablet Wednesdays, <laughs> Tablet Wednesdays. Okay, in the Tablet Wednesday say uh, it keep on locking me out. Mm, Cause okay. you, you ain't touched the screen in a long time. I see. Michigan school bus drivers and cafeteria workers soon could be in front of the classroom instead of behind steering wheels and serving counters. Mm. Come on. Well, I mean, that's 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 the best we could do for our kids. I'm just saying, though. I'm not down in bus drivers then you can't. or lunch aides. But what I'm saying is to be a teacher, you have to be certified. And I believe that we could have, you know, we could have did a little bit better. They already got a job. First of all, they already got a job. So now who's going to be do driving they, the bus? Do they pay them more? Do I don't they know. they get extra pay for that? They say lawmakers passed a bill late Tuesday temporarily allowing school support staff to substitute teach even if they don't have a single college credit. Wow. So a person without college credit is going to teach my son. You know, a wow. lot of people right now ain't working right now. A lot of people unemployed right now. A lot of people with professions who have went to college, paid to go to college, fifty, right. sixty thousand dollars. Who's sitting at home right now? And I, I, I just, you know, if you had reached out to the community, I really do believe that somebody would have stepped up and said, you know, okay, I can go to the school like two hours this day and uh, put me on the list. Right. You know, right. just like y'all do the firefighters. They got like a volunteer, a volunteer, a yeah. firefighter, you know. So, right. you know, why y'all couldn't come to the community and ask us besides, you know, uh, having lunch aides and bus drivers, you know, teach the kids who don't have no college, no college. I don't, I'm not saying that all of them don't, but I'm saying they saying you don't have to have any college credit. So, wow. you know, so I'm just, you know, saying that, you know, that's a lot. It's just it's, it's wild, you know. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, and why you couldn't go to the uh, schools where. Were uh you know young people were uh already in, you know going trying to be a teacher already. Why would right, they use on the job training? Right. Why they can no get no on a job training? You know no, you already took somebody who already got a job and gave him another job. Yeah, and then one thing about going to the community, a lot of times people gonna be like, I like COVID. That COVID uh they won't they won't want to watch nobody else's kid, but they want somebody else to watch their kid. I want to know. Who, <laughs> I want to know in the community who would have volunteered. Yeah, well, I would like to know that we, too. You know, well, we had a stepped up, you know, for the shortage, you know. Would y'all had a stepped up? Can y'all still step up? Can y'all right, still say right. something? Or y'all so don't you mind? So you think it would step up? How that or y'all don't three, mind one, three, that um, the bus three, six, drivers five, and the uh, seven, lunch three, aides are going to be two, subbing seven. in your kids' classes now? You got uh, high school kids who are in the 12th grade on their way to graduation who got some serious classes. Right. Some hey, serious great, work what to grade do. Is, what grade is they talking about? You know, you talking about All algebra, grades? geometry. Calculus. You know, most people don't know that stuff. People who uh, yeah. graduated from high school, either <laughs> you probably didn't know or you don't remember it. Are these people going to get some training or are they just throwing them in the classroom? That's a they good They just question. throwing them. They, do they know how to deal with, you know, children, attitudes, attitudes yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that? Are they no, having okay. any training before they uh, go into these classrooms? Mm, no. They're going to need some counseling. They're going to need some 
they ain't got do they got psychological training you know what i'm right. saying that you gotta That's what have I'm saying. you gotta have uh you gotta be able to uh uh-uh. call the line call the line not my line <laughs> <laughs> what's the number again jimmy now three six five seven three two seven y'all hear that three, three one, six three. five what is again three six five Seven three two seven. All right, dial that number, y'all. Want to get in on the conversation? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I want to get on this hmm. conversation on uh, Tablet Wednesdays about um, you ain't got to be all you got to be as a bus driver, not a sub in the schools. All hmm. the way to the end of the year, this is going to take place when the kids come off the holiday, all the way until all the way until Mm-mm. the end of the school year. I just, I just, I was just shocked by that. I was shocked that we, that that's, that's happening. I was really, you know, shocked by that, that um, we couldn't find another option to do that. (laughs) Or that's why we need to have more community involvement, you know, in these laws that they make and things like that. I know that, you know, the lawmakers, they sit up on top and we really don't know really what's going on, you know, what kind of laws they make every day and stuff like that. Until they do them. But that's why, you know, it, it needs to be a change. We need to Man. be involved in every um, decision of our children today. That's crazy. We need to be involved in every dis- decision that they make about our children. Right. That's- it shouldn't only be a couple of people making a decision about all of our children. I wonder if Big Greg's going to have a, 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 a buzz you know, Big Greg, she's cool, but I'm just saying. I'm, just, I'm wanting to know if she's going to have a, a janitor or, or custodian or buzz driver teach her kids. Right. Question. Yes, you know. <laughs> so Would you know like they they gonna kids? get off the bus and go in the classroom. Yeah, with the kids. <laughs> I walk, mean, it's just. It's, just I mean, I mean, COVID, 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 yeah. Delta, Amaron, all of y'all, <laughs> all of y'all that made it. Y'all didn't change the whole uh, new world for us. And um, yeah. man, we gotta. We got to think of better ways than this. All the way through the, I see, you know, I can under, kind of understand like kindergarten. Mm. You know, yeah, I can see that kindergarten. But not, but four, I don't know fifth, about the emotional. Sixth, seventh, eighth, the ninth, emotional, tenth, you know, eleventh grade, twelfth grade. Right, I don't but know. when you're talking about real, real work. As parents, as parents, some of the homework they bring home, you be like, uh, <laughs> better go to Google for that one. Right. You know. <laughs> you know I just want to see how all this <laughs> unfolds. You know, parents, y'all hear me uh, talking. So if y'all got opinion, y'all better say it now because this law is already made. It's already mm, about mm, to happen. Mm. It's already going down. I don't know if y'all know what, knew about it or not, but um, because I ain't got no kids that's uh, in, you know, I got grandkids and stuff like that. And that's why I'm passionate about it. You right. Know, I have gra- grandkids. I got a son in the fifth, and, so I'm passionate right, about it. You know, it. and if I had kids that were literally. We need to find out what grades school, they're going to be teaching, though. K through 12. K through 12. Oh, everything. Everything. So I'm just wondering, are they going to be driving a the bus, then getting off, being stressed off, being stressed out from being on the bus with the kids? Yeah, then, then going to class, the class the and be around the kids all day, then drive, get back on the bus and drive them all the way back. That's a lot to deal with. That's a lot. That's a lot to deal with, especially if you ain't had no training. You ain't going to deal with your own kids? Right. There's going to be some suicide uppers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a lot, but I think yeah, I that's think a that lot. Uh, just thinking about it seems like it's that, a lot. I think that um, you know, we could have. I think we could have did something mm, different. Mm, you know, mm, not to not exclude the bus drivers in the lunch aids. You know, nah, but, but we could to also some people. include some professionals. We could ask some you know, with professional careers to teach our uh, children. Mm. You know, uh, you know, people they come to school for um, you know, career day. <laughs> you know, they for career day. We could have career day every day. Right, right. I'm trying to you call know, in, man. Mama, you call got time in, today. You, know you know, y'all make out a list. You get in your community, they make out a list. Mm. And everybody on this list can have, like, certain days to be called on. Mm. You know, your day might be Monday and Tuesday to be called on. Your day might be, to, uh, you know, Wednesday and Thursday to be called on. Right, right, right. And I believe that if you would have asked, I hope so, I believe that the people would have said, yeah. It would be nice. But see, like I say, some parents is like, you know what I'm saying, when the homework issue, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? They don't even want to be bothered with their kids most of the day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so you know, like, I'm just like, know. okay, that's what we doing now. I don't know. That's what we doing in 2022. 
2022. And anybody, you know, you know, 2022 is upon us. You know, what we leaving behind and what, how we going forward? You know, how we going forward? What we doing? You know, are y'all still, y'all still going to be dealing with stuff that y'all dealt in 2021? Have you got that same old teeth pulled out yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did no, you get it I pulled out yet? Nope. Are you going in 22? With the same two, old two, tooth. Two with, that, uh, with that same old bad uh, tooth. If it ain't hurting, I ain't leave it alone. <laughs> it's going to hurt one day. Then I take some antibiotics for that. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, y'all, that's what I'm saying. You're going to wait. See, that's that's what's wrong. You're going to wait till it hurt. Hey. Who want to wait till it hurt? Hey. See, that's the problem we got today. We're going to wait till it hurt. Hey. Now, that's the subject right there. Waiting until it hurt. Okay. Well, I'm not in it. <laughs> yes, you are. That's what a lot of our people in our community do. We wait till it hurt. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm, I got to make an appointment. But I'm, I'm that oil, that's going to have the oil. I gotta, they got to have oil surgery, so they got to. That's, that's why, I mean, I'm on a serious note. I'm that's just why saying, a lot that's going to hurt. I'm just thinking about COVID that pain. Like, because we wait till it hurt, right? No. Nah. Renee in the house. No. Nah. We wait till it hurt. No, we so don't. So we wait till it hurt. No. Everything you don't wait till it hurt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you get yes. sick, you go to the doctor. I hope, uh. Look at the comments. Hey, we said, all right, we're looking at the comments. All right. What's the number? Say the number again, Gemini. 313-365-7327. Thank you, Keita. 7379. And 7379. I posted it. I'm going to try to read some comments. Um, you know, from off the uh, live. Y'all can tap in to Jazzy No Nonsense, the poet live on her page. If you can't get to WHBR TV 33 on demand right now, Roku. Cool. Yeah, we are we all over the place. <laughs> we are all over the all place. All over the place. That's why worldwide. I said y'all. You right know what I'm saying? Oh, we ain't on just on TV. I want to tell cool. everybody. I want to tell everybody. Live. We on all that right now. I want to so tell go everybody. Check in WHBR RJ Watkins station. Feel about um, right now. Virgin I don't know. They Islands. said they calling in. Uh, it ain't no green. Yeah. 313 365. I'm sure. Ain't nothing blinking. It's on. I know when things blink. <laughs> I want to talk about advertising and marketing in the pandemic. Right now, you must afford your business to advertise and marketing because a lot of people are not getting blinking. out. They're not going out shopping. Yeah, it ain't nothing blinking. You know, so you need to. Keep yourself relevant in marketing and advertisement. And right here on the Jazzy No Nonsense, the Poet Show, she got the best sponsorship packages going around here. Yes, sir. Because one thing you can't do is go to other, you know, multi-million dollar uh, radio stations and TV stations and give the deals that we give here at WJ. What are them deals? What's the deals? Because you can't do and, And we just as big as them, you know. We got the whole Detroit. We got whole um, Oakland County. We got whole Livingston Styling. We got whole uh, Highland Park. We in the Virgin Islands. We worldwide. Worldwide. So you're going to be seen. You're going to be seen. You'll be putting <laughs> in hundreds of groups. You'll be on R.J. Watkins' page. You'll be on my page. Yes, You'll sir. be all over the place. Yes, sir. Okay. Like, like the real. So tap in. Hi, Don't let, you know, you I'm have to put in the budget. Three one three three six five for advertising. Seven, three two uh, seven. I? <laughs> Try to get the number out. Okay. You, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, y'all got that. <laughs> all right, all right. So that's what I'm just trying to tell the people. Tap in to marketing and advertising. Get you Ooh. a sponsorship going so you can have a commercial that's going on and on and on and on and on all day, all night. People mm. see you all day, all day, all night, but you can make money in your sleep. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta let the know. You gotta people. You gotta let the know people. Let them know where you at. They don't know where you at. Right. They don't know you at. Why you think McDonald's and uh, Burger King they keep commercials? They've been out for hundreds, you know, forever, but they never stop advertising. Every generation knows about McDonald's and Burger King. Right. Because they never stop advertising, even though they are they are a multi billion dollar company franchise. Right. They never stop advertising, and you should never stop advertising. Never. That's what it's all about. That's this, that's what the world is all about, advertising and marketing. That's the whole thing. That's why your phone uh, ring all day with scam likely. <laughs> all day long. 
advertising and marketing all day. These people got jobs. That's all they do is advertise and marketing all day, all night. But people can make some money, make some money to eat with. You have to do it. There's no way around it. If you're not uh, advertising and marketing, you're not going anywhere. Nope. Not Flat. fast anyway. Not fast. So tap no. in to Jazzy No Nonsense. The poet. What's your phone number they can get at you at? At 313-365. What's the rest? What's the 7327. <laughs> 7327. Y'all know I got a bad memory. But we about to go to commercial so in a minute. That one. That's me. All right. Yeah, we about seven three seven nine. All, All right. right, call in three one three seven three seven nine. And we'll get back on the subject. Three six five. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what to tell you. You're it's gonna have to call me at this point. One number. T push it. Okay. I, I, did, I did push it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's still blinking. It's harder, do it. Don't blink. All okay. right, you ain't gotta be either. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hey, who's calling? Hey, I didn't. I, <laughs> oh my, hold on, my earring getting stuck. Hello? Oh. What up, though? Hey, who's calling? We got a caller. <laughs> hey, caller. Oh, hey, this is Roslyn. Hey, Roslyn, oh, how you doing? I'm good, how you doing? I'm well. So, hey, you was talking about our our Tablet Wednesdays today, about our subject? Hey, Roslyn, how you doing? Yeah, I wanted to talk about the school. Yeah, go ahead. What you got to say about this, the bus drivers and lunch aides being subs for uh, Michigan after January? Okay, what I want to say is, first of all, substitute don't do lesson plans. There is okay, that's right. I thought plan. that too. There is already a lesson plan put in place. So all they're doing is giving the kids ditto sheets, showing them videos, going over stuff that the actual teacher has already planned out. And then as far as the bus, bus drivers and lunch aides, they are familiar with the children in that school. Okay. Like, usually lunch aides know every single child. Okay. You know, they know them. So they're already familiar. So when they go in the classroom, it's not like they're in a foreign space because they're already in a school environment. That's going what's to up. the community, asking random parents and people to come in the school <laughs> and teach children is a little bit toxic because... A okay. lot of parents don't even know how to deal with their own okay. children. Yeah, that's what I said. Go inside the classroom and deal with 30 more kids. Like, okay. no. Lunch aides and bus drivers are already familiar with those children. And they added to You see that? That was a whole other side that I didn't even think about. Right. See, that's why that's why it takes a community, you know, more brains than one. Because that's, that's, that's exactly, they do know the kids. They right. are familiar with the kids. And yeah, the kids might true. do listen to them more than a stranger. Because of my uh, my school, my son's school, they talk to. Do you feel that that's gonna, as uh, far as the learning, the learning, how you feel that about them teaching? You know, I know they know them, but far as. But the, she said it already. She said I the know, lesson plan. The, oh, you said they get the lesson plan. Oh, you didn't have your. Yeah, the actual right teacher now. already put a lesson plan in place. Now, if they don't have a designated teacher for that class, and it's just substitute after substitute after substitute, then yeah, that's going to affect their education, but. That's going to the reason the kids, why there, right? there's not really a shortage of teachers, because as we know, there's a lot of teachers out here. But the thing is, they don't feel like they're being compensated. And also, it's a health risk because you don't know who's practicing what when those kids are outside of school. Like y'all said, are they wearing masks? Are they doing anything when they're around their family? So a lot of people scared. But the substitutes is just for when the teachers, there's a lot of people catching COVID. So we need somebody in those classrooms when the teachers are out quarantining for their 14 days. So even though that might seem like a long stretch to the parents, you got to think about that teacher at home trying to get back healthy to come back and teach your kids. So the education system, they really doing the best that they can considering the circumstances. But don't think that your, unless your child don't have no designated teacher, like I said, there is still a teacher in that class and the lesson plan has already been planned. So that substitute is really just standing in that class. That substitute teacher really not doing much. They really not doing nothing but passing out sheets and showing videos. They're really not doing a whole lot of teaching. So if your child don't have a designated teacher, you need to be concerned with what school your child go to and maybe send them to a whole nother school if they keep getting substitute after substitute after substitute. Right. But right. don't be worried if the substitute coming in once every now and then. All okay. Right, all right. All right. Thank you, Rosalind, for a new insight. So you being a teacher? I know you got kids in school because they my grandkids, but yeah. 
not see. only kids in school, but I am a teacher. So that's right. All I know. So she got the she got the both perspective. She's a teacher and she has kids in the school. And I, you know, I didn't even think about that side that the uh hey, I didn't the need age knew the kids already. I was just thinking like, whoa, how they? Wait a minute, you know how they gonna be teaching when they not certified to do that? But I see you now. You said, and I see how you broke it down. Far as the lesson plan is already there. The lesson yeah, it's plan already is already there. there. It's already stuff planned out for the kids to do. It's not like they just coming in and saying, "Oh, we about to, I'm about to teach y'all multiplication." Nope. <laughs> right. It's going to teach already something the, in the place plan. for okay. them to right. be able to go step by step. The whole day is planned out. Right. Okay. That's what's up. All That's right. Up. Well, you know it don't sound too bad now. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's why you need professionals doing this thing. You know, I'm a TV host. Dude, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Rosie. But for I want to say, I want to say something, Rosie. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I had to, my way you, when you said that. It's like it make you think, like, cause my my uh, my son's cafeteria lady. She know what they finna do before they finna do it. You know what I'm saying? She gonna she be maybe like she he finna run over there. Then he's gonna run over there. Then uh-huh. they gonna jump right there, and she be knowing all that every day that this happened. Like okay. she know how to, she already she mipping in the bug. Cause I was sitting there one day, yeah. and she was like, "Ah, mm, nope, hey." Yeah. yeah. And they was like, "Okay," yeah. but they listen to the lunch lady. That's they got their food. You know what I'm <laughs> they do, and sometimes the children have more respect for the lunch lady. Yeah, than the sometimes teacher. Sometimes more than they do for their own because those lunch ladies sometimes they give that. Grandma vibe. I'm not saying they all old, but they yeah. just got that vibe like they don't play no games. They don't so play when no they games. go in that class, <laughs> you know it's not gonna be all um, disarray. Ain't no jokes. Gonna Cause they don't let you joke in the lunchroom. You got to sit down in that lunchroom. Yeah, right. you got to yep. sit down, or you'll get yeah. kicked out and won't eat for real. Right. right. They the lunch ladies don't be list. playing. I thought I forgot about that. You right? Yeah, don't they put that your name and on the, that list? Be like, you not getting no milk today. Right. <laughs> you don't get no. Ex- we got extras, and you won't get none. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, I've been in that place. You won't get none. I was the class clown, so I ain't never get none. I ain't never get none. I, so I am so I happy feel that some you type tapped in Roslyn today to give us another perspective yeah, that's on dope. this uh, lunch aid bus driver sub, uh, sub for teachers in the uh, Michigan. I'm so glad. So now I feel better about the situation because right. I was like kind of hysterical about it. You know, I so would, once I heard the other side that, okay, good. makes sense. So big grace, big up. <laughs> she ain't. She you welcome. She it doing. was fun. <laughs> All right. See y'all later. All right. All right. Thank, right. You. Thank you. Thank you. You welcome. Bye bye. Yeah. So anybody else got any other opinions they want to call in and share some light on this subject about bus drivers, three six five, three six five, seven three seven nine, three six five, seven three seven nine. All call right. In. We ain't got but a little more time. Yeah. So we gonna um how much how many minutes we got? Two. Okay, call you next week. Oh, okay, we only got two <laughs> minutes left. <laughs> so I want to say everybody, I want to just tell everybody to make sure they're at the New Year's Eve party at 12121 Gratiot. One, two, one, you know what I'm two, saying? We got Gratiot. live performance in the house. We want everybody to be safe, everybody to stay masked up, keep your hands clean, keep your hands clean. You know, when you cough, put it in there. You know right. what I'm saying? We want everybody to be safe and, you know, keep all your services washed off and everything like that. You know, give air hugs and good things like that so we can get back to whatever we're going to call normal after uh, COVID and uh, the variant in Amaran. You know, them the big boys around the town now. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I want to shout out. Yeah, shout out. I, I got a shout out to Mr. C, man, all the way in the Comic View Live. Well, I'll be there January 14th, Martin Luther King, North Carolina. The real is coming. But I want to shout out to my sponsors, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get good helpers, heating and cooling. You know what I'm saying? Entertainment. You know, Scotty Boswell, D Pack. You know, them my people, man. They uh, they finna do some big things. And happy birthday, boy! It's coming up. That's oh up. yeah, happy birthday to Geneva. Happy Henderson birthday, Geneva. Yeah, yeah Geneva. Happy, happy birthday. birthday, Lee Money Squad, balling on best in the building. And we, I want to thank y'all for tapping in to Tablet Wednesdays today. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we just going out. So every now and then, I'm going to pull out the tablet. We're just going to go off the tablet and see what's going on. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to yeah. talk about it, get the community involved, and see how uh, Roz and she called in today. And she let me see another side of things. Yeah, and she like made that. more you know, sense. So she made it? more sense than I did. Yeah. And so, hey, <laughs> all right now. So, you know, i see y'all next week, next Wednesday. Baby, one love. Peace. Peace. Feel like your life under an umbrella. You never felt the sunshine. Feel the rain. You never feel alive.